Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. I channel information from Spirit about various topics, as well as do energy healings and energy work. And I also create pathways for you to reconnect with Spirit so you can work with Spirit as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be exposing the dark agenda and talking about bloodlines and how certain bloodlines have been targeted by the dark forces and deliberately corrupted. So where is this information coming from? So I work closely with spirit to do shadow work, but also to learn the truth of what's happening in the world today. Um, because you can do this. <laughs> if there's something that you're not sure about yourself and you want to know the truth, you can always ask your spirit guides, your healing team of light, um, to show you the truth of things. Uh, but do be prepared. Uh, because it's not for the faint of heart, it's not for the faint hearted. It is a difficult path to walk the path of the truth and learning the truth of this reality. That's like a, a little side note. <laughs> but this information that I'm going to be talking about in this video uh, came to me while I was doing my own shadow work on uh, the Ascension journey. And really what I discovered was that all the Ascended Masters were once human they took on human form and had children so maybe not all of them had children <laughs> but you get the idea they seeded bloodlines of pure light of high vibration and consciousness so just for example let's take jesus um and it's not very well known that jesus had a baby with mary magdalene and the bloodline was kept secret for the very reason i'm going to talk about in this video so whether or not the bloodline remains pure today, I'm unsure about. And by pure, I mean it's um, completely of light and it hasn't been seeded with darkness. So this is what happens. And it ties in with my earlier video around karma, which is that the dark forces deliberately target certain pure bloodlines of light and they seed them with darkness to basically corrupt the bloodline, to lower the vibration of the line. Why do they do this? <laughs> they lower the consciousness of the line because if you have a high consciousness, you're not easily deceived and because you vibrate at a frequency of truth. So you see the truth of things. And if you see the truth of things, you're in your power. And the dark forces don't want you to be in this position because if you're in your power and you can see the truth, you aren't easy to control and manipulate through fear. So they can't use you as an energy source to siphon off your energy and it doesn't serve their agenda. And I talked about this in my first video if you want to check that out. Part one of Exposing the Darkness where we talk about karma. So in order to control the consciousness of the earth, the dark forces deliberately corrupted these bloodlines of the ascended masters and whatnot because it served their agenda, their purpose to keep the vibration of the planet low so that they could control the agenda, they could control the population so that they could use our energy to sustain them. So again, this is one aspect of a multi-layered and multi-dimensional issue. There are many different aspects, including the first one I talked about in my other video about karma. Um, but today I just wanted to touch on, upon this one and about bloodlines and corrupting the bloodlines. It's again another piece of the jigsaw puzzle and I'm going to touch on another piece of the puzzle in this series as well and it's called Agents of the Darkness. So what are these energies that actually corrupt the bloodline? Um, that's what I'm going to be talking about next in this series. So please do let me know if any of this resonates with you. I'd love to know your thoughts and until next time, thank you so much for tuning in, for being here. Take care. Bye bye.